Welcome back to TD Waterhouse Stadium and the 104th Yates Cup. 10-3 McMaster at the half as Colorado is wrapping up on stage. And we are just about set to start the third quarter. But first, we'd like to mention that about 20 minutes before kickoff today, my friend and yours, Tim McAuliffe, was honored by the OUA for his time, service, and dedication to the University Athletics in Canada. Tim has been a, the voice of this program since day one when University Rush came on the air all the way back in 2002. And it is with mixed emotion that we now have to announce that today, this is Tim's last broadcast on University Rush and Tim's last broadcast on the score for that matter. Tim, you've met, meant so much to so many of us at the score over the years. And of course, for people involved in university athletics around Canada, um, and for a guy who never wanted to make it about himself, we hope that you enjoy this feature on yourself. And same for the folks at home, as we look back at some of Tim's best moments over the last 10 years on University Rush. You know, big shout out to Tim McAuliffe, the voice of Canadian college football. I think Tim is the true voice of Canadian football, and, and nobody, does it, nobody does it better than him. You know you go to war with these guys each and every day for five years. Anytime you hear Tim, you uh, can't help but realize his enthusiasm for the sport, how much he cares for the players that are playing it, how much he just really cares for Canadian football. With the fake now on the run, he's got to throw this away. He throws it back to Fitzgibbon, who makes the catch inside the 20, still on his Special players make special plays on special days. Having been lucky enough to be a part of big plays, uh, going back home, watching the game over on replay, just hearing Tim's voice just going nuts after you know a touchdown or a big play, just it, it, it gives you chills again, like you're playing the game over. Fake the handoff to Honig, dump it off to Campbell, blocking the sidelines. They got 20 and more. I can remember as a kid watching and and hearing uh, Michael Falls to Andy Fantuz. Fantuz end zone. Touchdown! That's all I remember as a kid is, you know, watching the games, you can hear, you remember his voice in the back of your head. He just has that, that unforgettable voice. There are about four or five voices that you can recognize immediately. And of course, Tim's is one of those. Some of our guys in the locker room love to impersonate him and, and do all his calls. He, he just brings an excitement and, uh, and knowledge to the game that we're going to miss. Quinlan, Trill, Mitchell Bosch delivers the blow. These aren't high-priced, uh, uh, millionaires. These are kids that love to play the game, and, and the way he covers a game just uh, brings to light all of that stuff. Mitchell just airing it out. Aprile comes up with it, absorbs the ball, and says, "Thank you, sir. May I have another?" To hear him call out your name out here and then watch it on the on the replays the day after is pretty cool. Rossetti looking over the middle. Gardner is hammered. Alan Dix delivers the blow. He's always been over-the-top enthusiasm, excitement, and I never had heard him have a bad day. I've never heard it be sort of ho-hum, and, and that's a tough standard to keep. Throws on the run, intercepted! Dorian Monroe showing off why he started at the University of Florida. I think the, the great ones like Tim have always been able to personalize the game, so they, they know the teams, they know the history, and they know the players, and consequently, they know the stories behind the players. It's an intimacy with the game that I think is invaluable from the listener's perspective. I think he's really going to be missed on the score and to the people who watch OUA football so closely. But I know regardless of where he goes, um, you know, high achievement has been his trademark. And that's going to continue to be his trademark. So I think everyone who knows Tim and has run across him wishes him nothing but the best. I'm not sure anyone lost here. We just ran out. Tim, we're going to miss you. Thanks for everything, buddy. Let's hope these next 30 minutes are can match what you've done in the last 10 years. I have a feeling it's going to be a good second half. 10-3 McMaster, you're watching the 104th Yates Cup live on The Score. All right, we're going to Colorado.